Hello, this is Dan over at Carburetor and Distributor Specialties. I wanted to do a back to the basics video regarding fuel delivery and spark. The reason being is I frequently take phone calls from people who are trying to diagnose drivability issues or uh, no start issues. And one of the first questions I ask is, are you getting fuel or do you have spark? And uh, many times they don't know the answer to that. So I wanted to do a quick video on how to determine if you're getting fuel or if you are getting spark. And on the test engine here, I have a Quadrajet, but you can, you know, a Holley would be the same or an Edelbrock or a Carter. Um, on a four belt carburetor, we're gonna focus on the um, primary um, throttle bores. Uh, that's where your accelerator pump squirt goes into, and that's what we're going to be checking. Um, on a two-barrel carburetor, like a, you know, let's say a um, Motorcraft 2150 or a 2GC, you're going to get the squirt into the into the bores, but it, it's the only two that there are. On some of the foreign carburetors, like the Asins or Hitachis, um, they have two bores. It's a two-barrel carburetor but only one of them, uh, the smaller one ends up getting the accelerator pump squirt. So you kind of got to know your carburetor a little bit. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to open up the choke plate here with a screwdriver. And we're going to look in here and we're going to look for the fuel to be coming out right in this area right here. And I'm going to pull out a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the um, uh, linkage and manually uh, move it to see if we are getting fuel squirt. And what we want to see is A, are we getting fuel squirt? And B, is it a consistent squirt? So let's take a look at this one. So that was a consistent fuel squirt. So we can say this carburetor is getting squirt. Now if we do this another time or two, we got another consistent squirt. Another one. This is how I'm going to flood this carburetor here. But we're eventually going to get to the point where that squirt starts petering out. And now we're not getting that consistent squirt anymore. And if you were to get this on a normal basis, if your fuel pump's running, have just ran, and you're getting this look, then you are, um, something is wrong with your accelerator pump. If you're not getting any fuel at all, then you have a problem with the, um, you know, the fuel pump or uh, something blocked in the carburetor. Um, let me clear this carburetor up. I'll come back, and then we're going to go over spark. All right, we're back, and what I've done is I've replaced, pulled off one of the spark plug wires from my distributor with a spare one, just because I have all of this wood on top of this test engine. And what I wanted to do is go over how do we determine if we have spark. One of the tools that I use is this nifty little um, tool. It's made by Mac Tools, and it's basically a spark plug that has an alligator clipped um, attached to it and um, what I do with this is I just plug it into the spark plug wire and then you ground it so you can ground it up here on the carburetor you can find a metal surface but for sake of this video we're going to ground it right there I'm going to turn the ignition on and as I crank this, we should start seeing spark here, and that's an indication that we have spark. Let me see if you guys can see that better. clearly see that spark. Now not everybody has the nifty tool 
So the other way that you can do this is take a screwdriver and plug it in to where you're making contact in there. It's pretty loose, but then what you can do is you can hold it next to your grounded source and we should see spark in between there. So let's try that. So that's how you can determine if you're getting spark or if you're getting fuel. And those are two necessary components to um, an internal combustion engine. So if you are having drivability issues or if you're having a no start problem, um, these are two things that you want to look at. And like I said, if you're not getting fuel, then you could check for blockage. You could check for a faulty fuel pump. You may check for a, a break in the fuel line, a crack in the fuel line where it's sucking air instead of fuel. Um, if you're not getting spark out of your distributor, depending on the type that it is, your um, points may not have be gapped properly. You might not have 12 volts or 9.6 volts if it's a points distributor or 12 volts if it's a, um, a HEI. You might not have voltage into it. Uh, and these are all things that need to be uh, checked out and diagnosed so that you can move forward in getting your vehicle to start or run properly. Again, it's Dan over at uh, Carburetor and Distributor Specialties. My website is www.gasandspark.com. I'm located in Southern Oregon. I rebuild and restore carburetors and distributors. So if I can help you out, go to my website. You can contact me and um, give me a call. Huh? Huh? Huh?